20 freaking 20. Here we are. It's technically January 1st, 2021 Pacific time when I write these thoughts and January 2nd when I record the voiceover, but better late than never, I guess. <laughs> what was 2020 like? Similar to those aesthetic numbers like 2000, 2020 did not disappoint. But let's go back a little. December 2019. I should have guessed something bigger was about to happen. Okay, mom. Me and Vietnam had a spat again. Seven years after the first one. I guess I'll just wait a couple years to see her again. I started 2020 on a shaky foundation. I questioned my self-worth. And my worries that I wasn't cut out for the industry were beginning to mount. This in part was due to a past job I quit in 2019. and spent that year trying to recover from. That job gave me industry insight and confidence, but it also made me anxious about how people perceive my work ethic and intentions. It's going to kill. I know it wasn't all me, but I can't help thinking sometimes, am I the problem? In addition to wondering if there was something wrong with me, as someone forging their own entrepreneurial path, I also underestimated how difficult it is. Yeah. Mua mẹ mang về ăn liền. 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 Mua mẹ mang về ăn li freedom to create, but I got distracted at home and I realized how lonely I am because I had stopped maintaining friendships and community work a while back. Just chilling, laying up there chilling. Oh my God. Life is not just about work, family, and partners. Friends are important. When quarantine hit March 2020, oh. Oh. I was a little apprehensive about my partner and roommate at the time working from home, a space I usually enjoyed to myself for most of the day. But I also thought my life would be happier to have them around, so I wouldn't be so lonely. In the end, my need for relationships was more than one or two people could handle. Hmm. I'm gonna put the clothes away, okay? I'll pet you a little later. Okay. 
April has also like lost. Yeah, so April's like lost April. interest. Work. No, April, don't leave us. Don't yeah. leave me. Oh, it's milky. Yeah. Smells really sweet. Okay. It's too cold. Very sweet. Oh, it's like milk. Mmm. The boba is soft. Huh. Mmm. Mmm. Squishy. Okay. Definitely Belinda style is so sweet. An afternoon snack for a rainy day. However, there was comfort in knowing that everyone in my world was also staying at home the way that I had been for so long. Looking through my photos, 2020 has been about cats. I've really cared for them. Feeding them, letting them outside, keeping them away from concerned neighbors, taking them out for fresh air, and of course, emptying the litter robot. I guess I either try to analyze situations to find problems, or I find scapegoats. And so, are these cats taking up more time than I originally thought they would? Yes, but are they also extremely cute? Joke is very proud of his catch. He worked very hard for this. Reluctantly, I say yes. But hey, 2020, you've given me a lot. I'd say getting that line on the HBO show after being carried as background has been a big perk. I finally signed up for acting classes. I took an improv class, a sketch writing class. I've spent time on the ukulele and had the luck of living with musicians for two months who inspired me to play and sing more. I've lived without a partner for almost six months now and I can't decide whether it's torturous or freeing. I do know that I've wondered what it's like to be single for a longer period of time, so I guess this is possibly the closest I can get. 2020, you fucked me up. You didn't let me get away scotch-free and I had to pay the price. It's been extremely tough, but I guess I'm wiser now. What I wish for in 2021, mindfulness. I hope to cherish every moment I am living. I know that living is suffering, but also is happiness. I can take the lessons I've learned in 2020 and live with more intention. Thank you.